Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you nine things to check under the hood of a car. In this video, I'll be taking you under the hood of my Honda CRV and giving you some general ideas about things to check under the hood of the car. Let's get right into it. I'm going to try and keep this brief and relatively simple and straightforward. I'm not going to make anything too advanced. So number one, the first thing that you should check, and this is probably the most important thing, is the general condition of the engine and the engine bay. So as you can see right here, this is the engine. Now for the general condition, you just want to look at the engine and the engine bay just take a look around look at all of the um, crevices all of the different areas of the engine bay all of the different components of the engine and make sure nothing stands out for you you know you we're not talking about looking for specific things here like looking at every intricate component I'm just talking about generally looking at the engine and engine bay and see if anything stands out to you um, as being out of place or you know something that looks odd and if it does look odd or if it stands out then you want to look into that a little bit further the second thing that you should check under the hood of a car is the battery and what you're looking for is the overall condition of the battery and also the age of the battery and for the overall condition you want to look at the terminals at the posts and you want to see if there's any noticeable corrosion so there's one post and the other post is under here I'm not going to go ahead and pull this up and you know take everything apart but what you want to do is just look for any corrosion if you see any green or white buildup of like a crust on them then you want to take the appropriate steps to clean that off and and uh, also figure out why that's happening. Sometimes it can be a loose connection or something like that. And look at the age of the battery. You want to see how old the battery is and see if you're going to need to replace it anytime soon. The third thing that you should look for under the hood of a car is the oil level. Now, if you look on, uh, on one side or sometimes the front of the engine, you're going to find what is known as a dipstick. It's usually going to be a different color just like this so that it can sort of stand out. And as you can see, that is the dipstick over here. Now what you would do, and, and you know, there are other videos on this, so I'm not going to demonstrate it right now, but you want to take out the dipstick, wipe it off, put it in again, and then take it out once it's been placed in there cleanly. So the key factor is to take it out once, wipe it off, and then dip it in there again. That's why it's called the dipstick. And that'll tell you the oil level, and it'll tell you if it is, you know, where it needs to be, or if it's too low or too high. Now, like I said, I've done another video on how to check the oil level of the car, so check that out. Or look at the uh, hundreds of tutorials that are available, um, and make sure that, you know, that's number three, check the oil level. So number four is, you wanna look at, is anything leaking? So take a look around the engine bay, and you want to see if anything's leaking. Also, take a look underneath the car. You want to go deep down underneath the car. See if you see anything leaking. I mean, you know, it's normal for parts inside of the car to sweat. Like if you look towards the exhaust and you see some some um, some uh, condensation coming out of the exhaust, that's normal. But generally speaking, things in your engine should not be leaking. Things in the engine bay should not be leaking. If you spot a leak, get it looked into ASAP. The fifth thing that you should check under the hood of the car is your windshield washer fluid level. Now in most cars you're actually not going to be able to check it in terms of, you know, there's not like a gauge or a line, but basically when it's low enough, the light will come on on the dashboard and then that means you have to refill it. Now you want to know where it is, so you want to check the the, the level of it by, by knowing that it, it, there's enough, you know, if the light isn't on, there's enough in there. But you want to know where it is and usually it's labeled like this and it usually has a nice uh, colorful cap like that and you want to know how to refill it and if you need to refill it go ahead and do it what I like to do is every two weeks or so when I fill up gas every second time I usually fill it up about once a week I usually just go and I take uh, uh, my uh, container of windshield washer fluid and I just top it up just to make sure that I'm never too low the sixth thing that you should check under the hood of the car is that you should actually listen while the engine is running and you want to listen for any loud sounds any sounds that's anything that sounds abnormal so you want to start the engine and I'm not going to do that now because then I have to speak really loudly but you want to start the engine and just take a quick moment and listen you shouldn't hear any squeaking any squealing anything like that you should just hear um, you know tick 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 the engine running you should hear uh, the pistons moving in the engine running and so forth the seventh thing that you should check under the hood of the car is you should check Check the engine bay fuse box this is also known as the heavy duty fuse box now there is a likely a fuse box inside of the car which contains all of the smaller fuses um, and, and you know the, the things that are regarding the smaller electronic components and the engine bay fuse box is like the heavy duty components and the relays and so forth now in this car it's right over here it's easy you usually just you know squeeze some tabs and pop it open and you just want to make sure that none of the fuses have popped out nothing has happened there's no corrosion going on or anything like that you want to take a general look at the condition of the fuses and relays in the engine bay fuse box 
The eighth thing that you should check under the hood of the car is the engine air filter. And you wanna check if it's clean, uh, check if it's clogged or anything like that, make sure that it looks great. Now, to locate the engine air filter, Okay, what you wanna do is go to the engine and you're gonna notice there's gonna be some piping coming from the engine. And this is how the air gets into the engine. Okay, you can see right here, this is how the air gets into the engine. And you'll notice that towards where the air filter is, you're probably gonna see a little clip like this for one of the sensors, okay, for one of the airflow sensors. And then the actual filter is gonna be somewhere in there and it's gonna have some sort of a removable cap. So right here you can see that we can remove this cap by unscrewing these uh, little components and we would just unscrew it take a look at the filter in there and you'll also see that there might be an opening over here like this and then there's going to be also a pipe that leads down I don't know if you can fully see that but there's a pipe that leads down there because the intake is down there um, towards the front bumper that's where it actually sucks in all of the air last but not least the ninth thing that you should check under the hood of the car is the belt now on one side of the engine you're going to notice a belt. Let's try and get this down here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this really well, but there's actually a belt. Ooh, I almost touched the hot piece. There's actually a belt right over there. Um, it's kind of hard to see because it's really dark, but there's a belt there. What you want to do is just look at the general condition of the belt. Just trying to get maybe the uh, exposure to work over here. No, it's not happening. There's a belt down there, and you wanna look at the overall condition of the belt. Make sure that it looks like it's in place. When the engine's running, uh, make sure that it looks like it's just moving smoothly. It's not like wobbling side to side. And just look at the general wear and tear condition of the belt. If it's too worn out, you wanna look at getting it replaced. And that's it. Those are nine things to check under the hood of a car. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.